from the detailed study of fossils paleontologists towards the end of the 20th century came to the conclusion that the history of life on earth is at least 3.5 billion years old as new discoveries were made in this direction the riddle of the history of life on earth and its evolution started unfolding the study of fossils has proved extremely helpful in understanding the evolution of species in paleontology only those remains of a species are called fossils that are at least 10000 years old these fossils may be those of organisms as minute as unicellular organisms and may be as gigantic as dinosaurs having a length of several meters and weighing several tons the oldest fossil forms found on earth are the stromatolites these are layered fossils made up of layers of cyanobacteria stromatolites are estimated to be 3.4 million years old the study of fossils in the present day context makes use of many branches of science example mathematics engineering physics biochemistry etc in reality a fossil refers to the remains of some animal or plant buried in earth million of years ago fossils may be in the form of the body parts of animals their bones or the pathway or tunnel used by them fossils have a fascinating world of their own some fossils are so minute that they are invisible to the naked eyes they are called micro fossils at times the geophysical processes lead to the formation of fossil like patterns of salt in rocks they are regarded by mistake as real fossils although in their formation and development no biological process is involved such fossils are called pseudo fossils sometimes round or egg shaped patterns are naturally formed between the layers of sedimentary rocks often these are mistaken as dinosaurs eggs if the entire body of dead plant or animal is consumed by scavengers and bacteria like microorganisms then no fossil formation can ever take place in nature actually what happens is that many a time these scavengers and microorganisms are not able to fully decompose the bodies of dead organisms and therefore some of their parts like hands legs head etc are left in the soil sometime mud soil or dust gathers over them over time the tender portions of the body parts of plants or animals are decomposed by the bacteria minerals fill the cellular spaces and crystallizes the shape of the original plant or animal is preserved as rock Sometimes the original material is dissolved away leaving the form and structure but none of the organic material remains Sometimes hard parts like shells bones or wood do not get decomposed Here also minerals present around these parts get deposited on them which after millions of years are transformed into stones Such fossils found in nature are called petrified fossils. The fossils of the bones of dinosaurs and wood of trees have been discovered from many parts of the world. An entire fossil tree has been beautifully left preserved in the Petrified Forest National Park situated in Arizona, USA. Sometimes imprints of a tree leaf or the body of a spider ant or fish are found in stones in the form of fossils another important form of fossils is known as amber fossil ambers are raisins which have turned hard raisin is a kind of liquid exuded from some trees turpentine oil is made from the raisin found in pine trees when the trees get hurt they start discharging raisin as a sticky liquid due to its stickiness innumerable insects spiders etc 
get stuck and are thus trapped into it. The chemicals present in the resin act to preserve the insects and so their remains are left intact for hundreds or thousands of years with passage of time. The resin hardens and turns into amber and the bodies of the insects stuck and trapped in it are left intact. Paleontologists of today have discovered insects that got trapped in the resin of plants millions of years ago and thus they have been able to gather information about the insects of ancient times. Fossils are also found buried in ice. The fossils of a species of ancient elephants called mammoths have been discovered from the snow-clad hills of Alaska and Siberia. These frozen fossils were used by Eskimos as feed for their dogs. Once upon a time, half the supply of ivory the world was over was met by the huge fossils of mammoths. Scientists are now studying the blood vessels, muscles, hairs, skin and other body parts obtained from the fossils of mammoths by preserving them. Some of the fossils of mammoths are also kept in the museum. The footprints of ancient animals also come under the class of fossils. In the past, the footprints of spiders, birds, four-legged animals or dinosaurs might have been left on wet mud or sand. Some of these footprints have been kept intact by nature. The mud or sand in course of time got converted into stone, but the footprints encapsulated in them have remained intact. Dinosaurs called protoceratops had body lengths ranging from 1.5 to 2 meters used to lay their eggs in the sand akin to the manner done by tortoises and turtles of today. Scientists have been able to discover fossils of the eggs of these dinosaurs that are about 75 million years old. When paleontologists broke open some of these petrified eggs, they were astonished to see petrified bones of baby dinosaurs inside. Searching for fossils is a difficult and laborious job indeed. Most fossils are found in sedimentary rocks and river beds. Laws have been passed by the governments of many countries for proper excavation of rare fossils of dinosaurs and other organisms. These laws allow only proficient scientists to execute this job because they are well conversant with the fossils and the scientific ways of their excavation. Dinosaur fossils have always been the center of public attraction in museums around the world. These reptiles roamed the earth for million years in the Mesozoic era, a catastrophic event some 65 million years ago wiped out these giants from the face of the earth. The word dinosaurs was coined by the British paleontologist Richard Owen in the year 1842. This word has been derived from the Greek word dinosaurus, which means terrible lizards. Fossils of dinosaurs have been unearthed from many places around the world, including many sites in India. Dinosaur fossils have been found from Maharashtra, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Meghalaya. The Indian scientist Birbal Sahani worked lifelong on plant fossils. In 1949, he laid the foundation of the Institute of Palibotany in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, which is now known as Birbal Sahani Institute of Palibotany. For research on plant fossils, this institute is regarded as the sole institute not only of India, but the world at large. Paleontologists have so far been able to find about 500 general and more than 1000 species of dinosaurs. The, their fossils have been found from every continent of earth. 
the analysis of these fossils has brought home the fact that some dinosaurs were vegetarian while others were flesh eaters some dinosaurs were of giant size while others were of human size or even smaller most of the dinosaurs made nests in which they laid their eggs this behavior of the dinosaurs resembles modern birds the study of the fossils of dinosaurs have revealed that in the jurassic age the evolution of birds took place from dinosaurs if we look back to history our modern life is virtually running on the fossils of the organisms that lived on earth long ago almost all the fuel we use today coal petrol diesel and gas are all fossil fuels they are actually formed from the fossils of plants and animals that existed on earth millions of years ago there would be no motor cars trains buses aeroplanes ships or industries without these fuels an important building materials such as limestone is actually made up of fossilized skeletal fragments of marine organisms such as corals even chalk which is used in schools and colleges for writing on blackboard is a kind of fossil